The I-cord tab is how I begin many of my West Knit shawls, like the chevron shenanigans design. It begins at the top center with a little I-cord tab. You pick up stitches and that I-cord tab continues seamlessly into the entire wingspan edge of the shawl. To begin, cast on three stitches using any cast on method you like. Some of my patterns used to say provisionally cast on three stitches, but it's only three stitches, so just do any cast on, it doesn't matter. After you've cast on three, knit those three stitches, and then slip those three stitches onto the left needle, and repeat, knit three, and slip those three onto the left needle. So we're not turning our work. We're always looking at the same side. Knit three. And slip. Do this as many times as the pattern uh, instructs. Some of my uh, top-down shawls just repeat three or four times. When in doubt, you can knit an extra row. I'm going to pick up and knit three stitches along the I-cord edge. So here's the first stitch I pick up and knit into. And there's the next one. I'm going through both legs of the I-cord edge. If you just go through one leg, that's okay too. But my habit is to always go through both legs of an I-cord stitch. So we have our first three, we picked up three, now turn to work the wrong side. Many of my patterns say pick up and knit three stitches along the cast on edge. The best way to do this is to tilt and look at this strand closest to that stitch that you just knit right here. So we're gonna get that one first, pick it up and knit it. And then we're gonna work our way from the right to the left. So the next one, we want it to be pretty close to the one we just knit. And the final one, work our way down this direction. Picking up and knitting three stitches along the cast on edge. So I'm not too particular about which exact strand I get, as long as you start close to that first stitch and you tilt it a little bit towards the back there and then pick up the other two going to the left. And that is gonna make a seamless join. Knit three and slip the last three with yarn in front. So this is how many of my shawls like Dotted Rays, Exploration Station begin this way. And if there's a little bump or if something looks a little uneven, you can use your tail of yarn from the cast on and do a little surgery or whip stitch the edge to make it more smooth and even. So I have nine stitches total, which is how a lot of my shawls begin. Chevron shenanigans, this is that I-cord tab right here. But again, just pay attention to the pattern. Sometimes I cast on more stitches. Um, so pay attention to the number of repeats and the stitch count you should have. But that's the general mechanics around the I-cord tab cast on. The I-cord tab cast on is really similar to the garter tab cast on, but the garter tab cast on has garter stitch knit back and forth along the edge, while the I-cord has slip stitches. You slip the last three stitches of every row and you get that super smooth slip stitch edge. This is the Chevron Shenanigans shawl. And it is one of my favorites because you can knit it as big as you want and it has a really easy garter stitch section and then the chevron section is also easy but it keeps you engaged it's not too boring so five skeins makes this gorgeous chevron shenanigans and ching fiber this is a beautiful blue faced lester fingering weight yarn but you can mix up any of your fingering weight yarns five colors will knit this large size of chevron shenanigans and this is a variation off of the i-cord tab cast on but it starts at a little tip 
here, a, a really small corner cast on. You can see that dark gray is the I-cord tab. And instead of picking up three stitches along the I-cord edge, I only picked up one. So that's written in the pattern. It's the same technique that I just showed you, but a little stitch count variation using the same mechanics. But then it grows from that I-cord tab into these cozy corners. And this is another fingering weight shawl that's really fun to knit. You can start with four or five skeins is enough to get this large size. I used about seven or eight colors in this sample. And you can mix up different fingering weight bases, some hand dyed yarn with some solid grays, a really good stash diving pattern, the cozy corner shawl. And these variations are, aren't exactly the I-cord tab. It's not a tiny tab, it's a long I-cord tail. So the I-cord tail cast on. It's the same technique but it starts along this entire long edge. This is the Reverberate shawl from West Knits Best Knits 3. So Reverberate, it starts with a super long tail, and then you pick up stitches the same way, turn around and pick up the three stitches from the cast on edge. So again, the same techniques, but with more I-cord rows. And this long shape is really fun to drape. You can wear it all kinds of ways. It has a tiny end and a wide end. And my trick for these asymmetrical shawls that have a tiny end and a wide end on the other side, they don't work as well if you just wrap them normal. I don't know what a normal way to wear a shawl is, but some people might do that. But then one end is really heavy. So put the wide end on your shoulder first, and then you can wrap the little tail around. And this way it stays on your shoulders better. That wide end is more secure. It's not just that big wide end isn't hanging too heavy. So drape the wide end on first and then wrap the little end around. This is a really long scarf shape, but once you wrap it, it's quite manageable. Wavy Wiggles is one of my easier West Knit shawls because it's the same section that repeats over and over again. So it's very easy to memorize and customize with color. You can do fingering weight yarns. You could do a fade of colors like Chevron Shenanigans. Um, but this one's a lot of fingering and sport weight yarns striped together in an improvisational color clashy way. So there's some Surrey alpaca accents, some lime mohair moments. Yeah, and I just love these big asymmetric styles. You know, bunch them up, wrap them around. Really fun to showcase all your favorite color bits. And yeah, once you do the I-cord cast on, it's really the same technique, the same foundation that all of these shawls incorporate. So you've really unlocked dozens of new shawls that you can knit with that super smooth I-cord edge. You're gonna put I-cord onto everything. So show me what you come up with, post your palettes with hashtag Westknits on Instagram, post on Ravelry, and I can't wait to share more technique videos with you all.